M0FXB, how do you like the look of this? So we'll turn off my iRadio UV98, but it could be the Radtail model. And then we'll turn it on and have a look at the screen. Let's give it a minute. Look at that. How cool is that? And it even says M0FXB Hamtech. How have we done this? Well, let me show you. So watch my other videos using the programming software, which is here. So when you're here, we've just read from the radio, by the way, go over to image. And then the way I, the way I created an image, I used, I literally just got my snipping tool. So just type, start to type snip, uh, like this into windows and you'll get this thing come up. Now there's the picture that I did earlier. So all you do with your snipping tool is go new. And then I literally copied some advertising like so, as you can see, and I did set and I saved that. So I found it. Okay. And it saved it as a PNG. I didn't resize it or anything. So we're just going to downloads and we just save it. Okay. Then before this was here, I just clicked import. You can see there you say import and I connected the one that I know worked, which is this one here. And then I click right and it just wrote it to the device. You can see the numbers changing there. Now I did have to make my own programming cable, um, but it's a CH340 cable. It's a TTL adapter that you can see there. I chopped a USB-C. It's going into the side there and you can see now as it boots, it's going to boot up and say Hamtech Andreas, and you can do this as well. These are amazing radios. I've also used the programming software and you'll see it um, in a minute to go when I'm in radio mode. Because a lot of people have been saying, well, how do you get rid of the Chinese writing? And so in radio mode, and if we put press the start until the little arrow is next to the word CH. Okay, and when it's next to that word, we can then go scroll up and down the channels that I've created. And you'll see that my writing says CBAM. Go down to another one, I've got a couple of CB ones in there. And these are, remember, I keep saying this, it will not transmit on upside band, lower side band and AM ever. So stop asking. All right, 40 meters, 20 meters. 80 meters. It's all there in memories. Receive only using the middle antenna. When you go into the normal mode, you can select go into work range. Now, I have noticed that in memory channels, let's have a look now. I need to test this actually. If we go down one with the red button, let's go to the middle, 27 megs. If I try and put in there in VFO mode by pressing the hash for VFO mode, 145. Yeah, it won't let me come out of the work range, which is shown here at the top. It says 18 to 64. To change the work range, you go menu, basic, keep going down until it says work range. Yeah, and then you can select one of three. You can you can't have you can't mix and match. You can't create memory channels and have the A band with one work range on C B and then the B band on 70 centimeters, it just won't do it. It's like three radios in one, plus a receiver as SI4732 chip is in there. So imagine another chip's been soldered to the board, that's giving you all your HF receiver, which actually works really well. And then you've got the main sort of board giving you the VHF, the UHF, 50 megs, 40 megs, all that kind of stuff, transmit, okay? And yeah, if you transmit on some of the stranger bands, the power is massively reduced. But if you're on two meters and 70, it's giving you about nine watts. So I think it's great and I'm really pleased with the, the software, how that's working. It does use the USB-C, which is a massive plus in my book. Um, you don't have to mess around with different cables. And look, you've got in your, if I click OK here, go back to the software. If you go to the device, you've got these settings. But the main one you're going to use is actually the channel. Put your channel names in. But remember, when you're doing the radio frequencies, you don't go to channel here. When you're doing the side button with the HF, you go to FM radio and you put the frequencies in. If they won't go in, you have to select the right range, 64 to 108. For, for HF, it's two megahertz to 30. That's where you're going to put your HF. If you want broadcast radio like BBC, which is 94.3, 
then you need the range which is 64 to 108 and you get four choices there Look, you got your short wave ones underneath 520 to 1710 kilohertz etc okay so that's about it really and as we change i just could this see a radio channel that must be the default one that it boots up at look so it's funny i haven't even changed that receive standby on or off and that's it so give it a go you've got dtmf and um, config settings menus i've made videos on this already read and write you select your com where it says program the bottom one you select the com which i'm on com 11 and then you just go read and write here or here and then you can save file save or file and open give it a name yeah save it and then you can bring that back in you can go file open and that's the one we just did look there look and that's it so thanks for watching my channel and uh, this was just to show you how to do your photographs and if we just show you one last time the radio rebooting go off actually i'll quickly show you where i wrote my name so my name just go to power on m0 fxb handtech andreas that's what's giving it the boot up name the image is here so if we just turn it off and on now oh it looks like i, I, I was showing you that but the radio was in the way let's just do that again sorry about that right. okay just realized so show you one more time um image here okay import image power on m0 fxb ham to andreas there and then if we now go and show you it booting up turn it off and turn it on you see the image that i put in and ham to andreas nice and easy thanks for watching my channel hit the like hit the subscribe 73 catch you on air and if you think all these videos i've been making on this radio are worth it buy me a coffee why not we'll buy it for my wife 73 all the best Cheers.